Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Tattooed Mama. Today I'm going to show you how to make a four leaf clover pinata from start to finish. So I thought this pinata would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day because you could fill it up with some gold dollar coins or some gold chocolate coins. Now, these instructions are for a four leaf clover pinata specifically, but the steps apply for any pinata you want to make. Just change the template. To get the free printable template for this pinata as well as a smaller version, go to the tattooedmama.com and search for four leaf clover pinata in the search bar. I have the method I'm gonna show you in today's video, a more traditional traditional Mexican way, and even a coloring page pinata. So go check that out if you're intrigued. Okay, let's get started. Step one, trace two four leaf clover shapes onto cardboard. One for the front and one for the back of the pinata. The best cardboard to use for pinatas, in my opinion, are the Costco slip sheets. These are usually uh, stuffed in between the steel cages or um, in between layers of food or product. If you're still not sure what I mean though, just ask an associate or a worker um, to get you a slip sheet and they'll know what you mean. Any cardboard will work though. Step two, cut. Using a box cutter, cut your two four leaf clover shapes. If you don't have a razor, you can use scissors. It will just be a lot more difficult. Step three, the sides. With the leftover cardboard, cut a bunch of four inch wide strips. These will be the sides. The length does not matter, but be sure to cut against the corrugation. This will make it easier to do the bends that are required to shape the sides. Step four, assemble. Using masking tape, start attaching the four inch cardboard strips to one of the four leaf clover cutouts. Do this until you have gone all the way around, but do not attach the other four leaf clover shape yet. We still need to add the handle and the what, reinforcements. You might have some holes uh, in the face of the pinata. That's okay. Once we decorate it, all of these will be hidden. Step five the pinata handle. Every pinata needs something to hang from. Grab a scrap of your four inch cardboard pieces that you have cut earlier and add it to where you want your pinata handle to go. This will give it some extra strength for when it's carrying all that candy. Poke two holes for your pinata rope to loop through. You can use wire, but I've noticed that wire rips through the cardboard when being hit too hard and loop the rope loop the rope through and secure it with your favorite knot step six toughening up the pinata i say this step is optional but don't skip it it is a bit of extra work, but it is well worth it in the end. Fold one of your four inch strips to resemble a toilet paper roll and glue it to the center of your pinata. If you didn't use the template I have provided and decided to make a massive pinata, just make sure you add a few more of these toilet paper roll pieces spaced apart. Um, and the, the more you add, the tougher the pinata will be. Step seven, tape the other side. Again, attach the other four leaf clover pinata cutout using masking tape. Step eight, reinforce. To make sure that all parts of the pinata stay in place, 
tape long pieces of masking tape around the entire pinata using the same motion as if you were winding up a ball of yarn. I used blue painter's tape here just to give a better visual on camera. I do not recommend using painter's tape because it does not stick well, but if that's all you have, that's fine. Now it's time to decorate. Step one of decorating, prep the fringe. Just like a traditional Mexican pinata, cut lots and lots of long strips of green crepe paper. Crepe paper is also called party streamer, so if you're more familiar with that word. You can use tissue paper if you don't have crepe paper or if you just want to cut down on the amount of materials that you're using. At the end of this video, I do show how to decorate the pinata using only the tissue paper fringe. So if you want to see that, just remember, it's at the end. Personally, I like the look of the tissue paper better. That's actually what I did to decorate this one. Uh, in the video, this is not shown. It's the crepe paper because my battery died and I didn't know that as I was recording this part. But it's the same process basically, just uh, the beginning, how to cut it is different. It just looks a little more put together. Now the length of these strips does not matter because you can rip or trim them later. Cut slits in the crepe paper all the way across, about a finger's width apart, and only three-fourths of the way up. Step two of decorating, decorate the back. Before you can do this though, make a glue mixture. Uh, mix one cup of school glue with water until it is as thin as paint. I'm using glitter glue here because I ran out of the regular white school glue. Okay, so starting at the base of the pinata, paint a strip of glue from the left all the way across to the right. Attach your first piece of pre-cut fringe crepe paper to that line of glue. Repeat these steps until you've made your way to the top of the pinata. Once you've covered the back completely, trim the edges and glue them down onto the sides of the pinata. When we decorate the sides, uh, this ugly part will be hidden. Step three of decorating, prep the front. Glue white or black tissue paper to the front of the pinata until all of the raw parts are covered. This will be our base to make sure none of the raw parts of the pinata show through our green paper. Now glue dark green tissue paper until all of your base tissue paper is covered. Don't put glue in the center, only glue around the edges of the pinata for this step. Step five of decorating, cardstock. So this is what gives the pinata the more modern look. Using a slightly lighter green cardstock than you used for your tissue paper, trace and cut out a clover shape, then glue it on. You can also get the free printable for this step at thetattooedmama.com. The direct links that I mentioned in this video will be listed in the description box of this video. To save paper, both sizes are on one page within each other. Cut the large piece out first, trace your shapes, then cut out the smaller piece and continue to the next step. Using another shade of green cardstock, trace and cut out a clover shape, then glue it on top of your previous clover. Step six of decorating, decorate the sides. Again, using fringe as in the traditional Mexican pinatas. This time you can start anywhere along the side of the pinata, paint a strip of glue from the left to the right, attach your first piece of pre-cut fringe crepe paper to that line of glue, and repeat these steps until you've made your way all the way around the pinata and back to the beginning. Then trim the excess with scissors and you're done. Now, how to decorate using just tissue paper? You're going to start off by cutting four inch wide strips of your tissue paper. Fold that in half and then cut the fringe the same way as you would do with the crepe paper.
Okay, now leaving the tissue paper still folded in half, you're going to place it at the, not quite at the very base of your pinata, but a little bit up to where the bottom part of the fringe is at the base. See, so not like this, but there we go, a little bit further up so that that bottom piece of your fringe uh, is what is sh showing at the edge. <clears throat> and then you're going to do the same process as you would with the uh, crepe paper, put a line of glue, put your tissue paper down, another line of glue, put your tissue paper down until you get all the way to the top. So that's it for the four leaf clover pinata. Please share this video if you found it helpful and like it of course. Make sure you subscribe for more uh, helpful how-tos in the future. I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.